one of the later things that Barry Sturman did in his career, he was asked to um, look at the, the profiles of B-2 pilots, so the B-2 bomber, which is a unique aircraft to try to fly. And what he discovered was it's not a steady state at all. It's an alternation between really a 40 hertz dominance and an alpha dominance. So there's this kind of cycling back and forth, and it's kind of moments of rest that allow for moments of multifocus. There's not a state, and let's train them to be in this state the whole time. That's the whole misunderstanding. It's like, okay, if you want to, if you want to pay attention, then increase your beta and do it consciously. Oof. That's it. You got to remember the strategy. You got to remember what you do to invoke that strategy. You know, the conscious mind does not work that quickly. I think that uh, what I'm hearing is the, the sort of practical definition of resilience is that the brain is responsive to the here and now. Yes. Be able to function at its best in the current need environment, right? So if the need environment is driving a car down the highway or, you know, flying one of these, you know, jets, that right. the brain needs to be able to identify and transition to meet those yes. current demands. And the resilience part is how organized it stays during those transitionings and during the task focus, flexibility is how easily it does the transitioning. 